uh, Chase here with Midas, and today I'm just going to go over copying pasting on uh, channels. So we're going to do an input channel, we're going to do an output channel, and then we're going to go and do a copy and paste for uh, Graphic EQ in the effects rack. So for starters, let's take a look at our channel. So I'm going to go right to uh, just my kick channel. So here's a kick EQ, it's got a gate, comp, um, sending to a few places. So what we want to do is just copy these parameters. So if I'm in multi view or the home view, multi view, and uh, you see these two squares here, this is your copy paste function. So if I select that, we've now copied uh, the settings uh, right here. So right now under copy area, we're looking at EQ and filters. So for this, I actually want to bring everything. I want to copy the gate, the, co the compressor, my configuration. I want it all to be copied with. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit copy all. And I'm just going to arbitrarily paste this to a channel that I'm not using. So let's just go to like channel 65. So right now, channel one is still selected, being yellow. I'm just going to go to channel 65 here. If I just select that, you'll see that paste is now selected. I'm just going to hit paste selected, and then I can press and hold to to finish that patch. So now if I look at channel 65, I'll see it has the same EQ, the same gate, comp settings uh, as, our, as our kick. So that copy and pasted right over. Another thing we can do is, let's say for outputs. So we have a mix going to uh, aux 21, so I can go over here to contributors. So this is showing us all the channels that are feeding this aux 21. And I just want to paste that. I want to uh, duplicate these settings and paste that over to aux 22. So to do that, we're just going to do the same thing. So on this side, I'm going to hit copy. And you'll see that under copy areas, here we have contrib. So it's going to copy the channel contributions from one bus to the other. So Right now, all I need to do then is just select the bus I want it to go to. We'll tap on aux 22, paste selected, and that should be it. If I hit cancel then, go to aux 22. Now I have aux 22 here with the contributions that we're feeding aux 21. So we easily just copy that mix over to a new bus. And lastly, let's go over to the effects rack and so right now I have some stuff loaded in here, but I have this graphic EQ on bus 21. So just doing some minimal cuts here. And I want to now copy this over to uh, aux 22. So the first thing I need to do is activate the graphic on aux 22. So while I'm in the effects rack, I can just hit activate. Assignment type is going to be insert. Choose a channel, so we'll navigate to Outputs. We'll choose AUX22, keep it mono, and then if I just press and hold to assign the insert, we've now inserted AUX22 in the second instance of the same slot, of uh, slot 23. And now what I can do is I can select, oops, excuse me, now I can turn on Copy and Paste. I can select this side right here. And if I just now tap this side, I can do paste. And it's going to ask me a confirmation. You know, pasting this to the effects subslot will overwrite all current parameters and settings. So are you sure you want to do this? I do. So I'm going to hit confirm. And if I make that patch now, and we'll get out of the copy and paste function. Now, if I open up aux 22, it has the same graphic EQ as aux 21. And we can just do this with a graphic EQ, but I can do this with any of the effects in the effects racks. So hope that helps. That is just some copying pasting uh, from the channel, from the outputs as well, and the effects rack. All right, everyone, take care.